So this is a shutter case, a case designed to make your iPhone feel more like a traditional camera. And currently it is only available for iPhone. So what's included with the shutter case? Well, it comes with the case, obviously, and the case is what makes it quite unique. And no, I wasn't eating a bag of potato chips. The case does appear to easily pick up the oil from your skin, the oil from your fingertips. It has a mechanism designed to trigger the record with the volume keys and even keeping the shutter button at the top like a traditional camera, which is pretty cool. So the other key ingredient to making your phone feel like a traditional camera is the battery grip or the hand grip. The hand grip comes with a bag and it also comes with a charging cable. Additionally, there are the small little thumb holders. These fit onto the case and help you hold the device. And I wondered why they included two, but then I figured it out pretty quickly. Well, it fell under the table and I couldn't find it for a little while, but I eventually did. And this is probably easier to put on once you have your phone in the case, but I wanted to demonstrate it here. Now you can get a good grip even with one hand. Mention the bag and the bag holds the grip and the charging cable. And then putting the actual phone in the case is really easy. I'll remove the thumb holder while I install the phone. This is an iPhone XS Max, by the way. But putting the phone in and taking it out is relatively painless. As someone who changes rigs and cases all the time, like many mobile filmmakers or photographers do, this is really key. And then putting the battery grip on is easy as well. And by the way, that is the cord you actually connect to your phone to charge it. We'll talk about that later. You wanna make sure that the word shutter case on the battery is lined up left to right. It reads left to right and you just slide it on, it clicks in place and you're good to go. And then optionally, and with this model, you can attach a moment lens. And now you've got a smartphone that really feels more like a traditional camera. The battery grip, hand grip is comfortable. And the really cool thing is the ability to shoot a photo with one hand. Normally you almost always have to use two hands when shooting with a smartphone. And then of course, you can do the same thing with video. So these two examples were using the native iPhone camera. What about third party apps? Remember, this is a mechanical shutter, is not controlled through Bluetooth. The good news is, yes, it works with third party apps, including one of my favorite, Filmic Pro. But you might be wondering, how does it work with Filmic Pro? Normally when using Filmic Pro, if you hit the volume keys, you'll adjust the volume. So what do you do? Well, you go into the settings menu to device, scroll down and hit volume keys trigger recording. Now when you hit the shutter button, it will start a recording. So this will work in any app that allows you to control video and or photos using the volume keys. So I think all this is actually pretty cool, but what about using it as a traditional case, an everyday carry case? In other words, when you wanna use it as a phone. The lens and the battery grip come off very easily. Then you could just store those in your backpack or in the carry pouch that comes with the kit. Then you've just got your phone in the case and it will fit right into your pocket. And you've got this really awesome wrist strap accessory that will, nah, never mind. You need to tuck that into your shorts. But I bet for most people, you will use this case more often as the way it was intended. And that is as a camera setup. So the lens just pops right back on. And so does the battery grip. And it really does have the feeling of a small camera, maybe a small mirrorless style camera. And the other thing is it does work with a tripod. I'm using a shoulder pod mount here to hold the camera. 
and then a tabletop tripod from Manfrotto, but you could use any mount and any tripod, depending on what your favorite is or what you're shooting. The battery is a 3000 milliamp battery, and so it's not overly powerful, but it will definitely charge up your phone and keep you shooting video and photos. So you just pop out the cord, and then once you reconnect it to the phone, you just slide that in the lightning port, and then the device will be charging. The battery takes about six hours to charge completely and it will definitely be a good addition to help keep you charged throughout the day. One additional piece related to the battery that I did not show in the unboxing is this battery cover, or really I should say a cover for where the battery goes on the case. This just makes the case function better as an everyday case, and cosmetically it just looks better. One of my only real nitpicky complaints is that the battery does not hold the phone up even or doesn't keep the phone level. It's angled and so when you set the phone down, it tilts forward. It would be nice to where if it was a little bit bigger, it kept the phone even. That way you could better shoot a time lapse or even a self timer photo without using a tripod. And right here, the case won't actually even stand up on this softer surface. So maybe just a little bit of a larger grip in a future edition would help. It's a minor thing in the big picture because overall I think the shutter case is a really good product. Shooting these product shots by the pool probably gives you a hint of who I think this is for. And that is probably for people traveling, shooting photo or video. Everyday carry to a degree. Really good for family kind of stuff for sure. And even shooting B-roll for filmmakers or mobile journalists but I wouldn't say this is something you would use on a bigger shoot, but grabbing quick shots or B-roll, this could come in pretty handy. And really, it's a good value. At the time of this video, the prices range from $59 to $79, depending on the model phone you have. So I like it, and I think a lot of people could really find this useful. I know I'll keep one in my bag as part of my everyday carry kit. So what about you? Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching guys, this is Blake Calhoun. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.